Every week, Patty McDonald laces up her running shoes and leads a group of runners on a jog through the Lansing River Trail. So I started running for my own mental health in 2017. It was before I even knew what Still I Run was. So I started running then when I was reeling from a divorce and I was going through like a lot of mental health issues myself. I was really suicidal. Um, so a therapist had recommended a form of exercise and that wasn't the first time that a mental health professional recommended that. So I thought there was something to it. So I went out and went on a mile run, my first run ever, and I felt phenomenal. Um, I felt so good that I was like, wow, there's definitely something to this. <laughs> we'll wait five more minutes and then we'll take off. McDonald is the Lansing chapter captain for the group Still I Run. It's made up of people who, like McDonald, have found mental healing in exercise. They go out every Wednesday, unless extreme weather prohibits it. McDonald says that the consistency is key to the group's success and part of the name Still I Run. It's just regardless of what you're going through, still you run. You know, you might have a bad day, you might be going through some stuff at home, but still you put on those shoes and you put one foot in front of the other. One of um, Still I Run's big missions or like quotes that they use is forward as a pace. So you can be walking as long as you're going forward. That's what matters. Still I Run is a national organization with chapters across the country. McDonald started the Lansing chapter just this summer after seeing the group on Facebook. I wanted to create something more supportive. Um, I've been to running groups before where I end up running alone. And I'm like, well, this is pointless. Um, so when they started this, I just made sure to tell everyone that this is a supportive community. It doesn't matter if you've run several races. It doesn't matter if you've ever run before. The hope is that by being open about mental health issues, they can decrease the stigma. Everyone has mental health, just like physical health. Everyone has it. So. You definitely need to advocate for it for yourself, for family members, for friends. It's not something that's easily talked about, but it's something that could save a life, literally. For more information on this group and where and when they meet, you can visit this story on our website, fox47news.com. For now, I'm Margaret Cahill, reporting in your neighborhood of Lansing.